Good morning, Bert Plant here, Operations Section Chief Trainee with the Southern Area Gold Team, uh, coming to you on, uh, what's it, 11, it's November 24th. Happy Tuesday to you all. Hopefully most of you survived Monday. I'm still working on my coffee to see if I did. Uh, talk a little bit today on the Cameron Peak Fire about what we're up to. For starters, we've made a fairly significant name change. Uh, on the map, you can see all these divisions. The divisions are geographic. We have lines. Here's a, here's a line, here's a line. In between, that's Division Lima, Division L. Uh, from here to here is Division Delta. What we're doing is not really tied to the ground anymore. It's more functional. It's, we're going where the job needs to be done. And so we're kind of untethering all of our units from their divisions, and we're moving them into what we call groups. Groups are functional, and they, they'll go anywhere on the fire that the job needs to be done. So from here on out, we'll be discussing hmm, the fuels group, for example. The fuels group is responsible for trying to deal with some of the, the salvage, some of the, the dead the down, see if there's any chance of uh, trying to, to make anything out of what was left behind by the fire. They're still working up in the northwest end of the fire. They're trying to uh, collect uh, any kind of merchantable logs. They're trying to just pile them up into log decks. If for any reason you're up in that area, you'll probably see piles after piles of these things. They will continue working up there. They have no lack of work to do. Winter will be what chases them out of there, and then the work will probably commence again next spring. The next group we're dealing with is the repair group. Uh, their job is to look at the various roads, the various trails, uh, all of the hand lines and bulldozer lines and all of that stuff we had to put in and, and try and fix them, try and restore them to pre-fire conditions try and fix up things like culverts or signage or bridges that have, that have been damaged by the fire. They're also looking at uh, when you run a bulldozer through the middle of the woods and put a bulldozer line in somewhere, well, it leaves big piles of dirt. We're trying to pull them back in, trying to make it back rather like it was and make it uh, a, an acceptable place for regeneration to start occurring next spring to make it uh, a start the forest over again, as it were. Their job, again, with all that repair, is right now focusing through the center of the fire. Next, we have the suppression group. Their job is mainly to deal with any areas that we still have heat and we still have fire happening. And right now, they're focused still down in the Pingree area by the, by the university campus. Uh, there are numerous jackpots of fuel, what we call big, heavy down logs, piles of flammable materials. They're breaking them up, they're spreading them out, they're, they're cutting them down, they're, they're trying to take the heat out of the whole thing. Plus, they're also working on trying to restore some of the, the lines, the bulldozer and the hand lines that we had to put in around that area. And again, try and bring it back to a little more of a, a normal situation. Uh, finally, we have the structure group. The structure group is, is uh, right at the moment kind of there as an a emergency response for us if anything should happen. Uh, they're the guys that are presently down in the Estes Park, the southeastern side of the fire. They've got mostly engines. Uh, they have access to a, full, a few bulldozers. We get crews to join them. If the fire should start to move anywhere in that direction, their responsibility will be to try and protect structures and, and improvements in the area. Um, now, and many of you looked out your window today and, well, I don't know, if you're my wife, you saw 70 degrees and sunny and wonderful. But we saw a oh, couple of inches of snow and damp and cold and breezy. And so today isn't what we'd call a big day for fire behavior, and we don't expect the fire to be doing much of anything. Fortunately, uh, from what I gather from our local friends, today's snow was wet. For those of you who don't come from around here, I guess wet means uh, you, know, you can make snowballs out of it, but they don't do that often around here. Snow is very powdery usually, very dry snow and it just blows around and, and it acts like dust and it doesn't really wet the fuels. Uh, we did have a question today from uh, Richard. I don't know if he's a first time listener or long time caller or whichever, but uh, he was asking about the bulge and saying, you know, what, what's going on up in here? Interestingly, we had a hotshot crew, a couple of their, super, their superintendent and their foreman get, managed to drive to this point here and, and took a hike up to that about a week ago. Uh, it took them four and a half hours. To get there and if you know anything about hot shots you know that those guys aren't going to let anybody on the planet beat them at anything 
and they're certainly in a lot better shape than I am, or you are most likely, four and a half hours just to get there. And uh, gee, four and a half hours back down. Uh, day length around here is about 10 and a half hours in the day. So uh, if you were out there in the ground, this looks nice and flat. Believe me, if you were out there, it is long, it is windy, it is steep, and it is nasty. This is a bowl up in here. We've uh, scouted it out. There is no convenient place to land a helicopter where you might be able to put hand crews in and work on it. So our only way to deal with anything that's been going on up in here has been from the air. And we'll send helicopters after it. We do have a, a large helicopter that's capable of several thousand uh, gallons of water. We have a type three with a smaller bucket that can pinpoint spots. That's the way we'll have to deal with it. In the meantime, we're gonna keep busy out here. I hope you all keep busy there. Remember down there, there's all those questions. Uh, you certainly send them in. We'll certainly make up answers as best we can. And uh, over there, it does say something about comments. Uh, click on them and see what people are saying. Join us. You may as well uh, at least be here vicariously if you can't be out here in your long underwear. You enjoy your day, and I guess we'll be talking to you tomorrow.